Editing by far is the longest and most frustrating part of the content creation process. So let's make it 10 times faster. Big thanks to MotionVFX for sponsoring this video. Let's talk about it. First of all, one of the ways to speed up your workflow when you're editing is to use keyboard shortcuts. So here's a few of my favorite and most used shortcuts. You of course have Command S to save your project. You have Command Z to undo something that you've done, which you can also come up here to edit, history and be able to see all of the changes that you've made. And you can also go back and undo that way by seeing every change that you've made. So if I were to accidentally select all this and delete it, I can just hit Command Z to undo that. You can also hold down Option and scroll up and down on your trackpad or with your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on your timeline instead of having to come over here and zoom in and out with your mouse. You can also click B to enable the blade tool so that you can make a cut. Then you can click A to go back to your selection tool. And probably my favorite keyboard shortcut is ripple delete, which I have assigned to letter R. You can assign it to whatever letter you want, but this will allow you to select, click R, and it will delete the space and the clip that was selected. You can also hold option, select any clip, and while you're holding option, you can drag that clip up, then let go, and it will duplicate that clip. You can do the same with an audio track, you just hold option, drag down, and boom, you've duplicated it. Another way to speed up your workflow is to save a template inside your project settings. So you could come in here, open up your settings right here using the little gear. You can set all of this exactly how you want it. I wanna set up one for 4K horizontal, and you can click little three dots over here and save current settings as preset. And I can say 4K, so you could make however many presets you wanted, be able to just come in and load that preset. And when you open the project, it'll load in your default preset. And that can speed up your workflow if every time you open your project, you want it to be 4K, you know, horizontal. Now, if you're making a YouTube video or video where you need to put text on screen, this can be a long process if you're wanting really nice title graphics. Now, of course, you can always come over in DaVinci Resolve to titles, you can select one of these preset ones, or you could do custom text. But if you're wanting a really nice title graphic, you might go find a template for After Effects or something like that to use. And that's been my process for a long time. So if I needed a title for this video, this would be my process that would take me a really long time but I have a new way that we're about to talk about in just a second. So let's see, let's put a timer on screen and actually see how long my old way takes me, finding a template on Artlist, putting it in After Effects, then exporting it, then putting it in DaVinci Resolve versus the new way that's 10 times faster. So start the timer. I'm gonna come over to Google. I'm going to Artlist. I've gotta look for a template. So that's in Templates. I'm used to working in After Effects because I know how to use the templates in After Effects. So we'll search After Effects and I need a title. Now we gotta decide what kind of title we want. I just need just a good old regular Title. Let's do this one. So we're going to download After Effects. Okay, now we've got to open that up. Once it downloaded, we'll open it in After Effects. Okay. So we need to edit the text for title one. We'll say edit 10x. Faster in 
Ja, bin ich hier. So. And let's see if we can change the color. I don't want it to be red. So let's see. Let's see if we can change the line to be like this orange color. And let's see if we can move the line over. Come in to transform. I'm gonna zoom it out again. And let's say right there. You know what? We'll put it under the word faster. Okay, edit 10 times faster. In DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's close all of these. Boom. Okay, I think I like that. So now we have to export it. We'll need to make sure and change this. Let's name it. After Effects. Title. We need to save it. We'll just save it the downloads for right now. Alright, render. Let's see how long it takes. Timer's still going. Okay, it's done. So let's load it in. We'll go to downloads. We'll drag it in right there. Boom. Nice title. Edit 10 times faster in DaVinci Resolve. Stop the timer. Okay, so that's normally my process for getting really nice looking titles that are, you know, completely animated in the works. Now, you might be asking, why don't you download DaVinci Resolve templates? And that's just because I haven't gotten as used to using those, so it actually slows me down. My fastest process is throwing in those After Effects templates, then exporting and putting them in DaVinci Resolve. But, this is where Motion VFX enters the chat. They have plugins that makes this 10 times faster. And I've been a filmmaker and been editing for seven years and had no clue about plugins and how good they were. So let's put this to the test. We're gonna run through and see exactly how much faster this is to do really nice titles, but it, for it to be in a plugin that's already in DaVinci Resolve because I downloaded it from Motion VFX. Start the timer. All right, so I need to come over here to titles, come over to Motion VFX, come over to my M How To Pack, just gonna click that. And we need one that's like a big title. That's let's do this one. We're just gonna drag that on, kind of lengthen it. We click it, we go over here to edit. Edit 10x faster subtitle in Da Vinci. Resolve, and we'll move that over a little bit. Then we'll change the little caption. Move that over. We'll change that color to orange. And we're done. We'll play it back. 10 times faster in DaVinci Resolve. It's not really centered, so I could just center it real quick. Stop the clock. Look at how much faster that is. And this title looks just as good. It has a cool intro and it'll even, once you get to the end, it'll have a cool little outro that takes it away, just like this one does. But having it in the form of a plugin already inside your software literally makes that process 10 times faster. And the cool thing is, 
these come in packs because you're buying them as a pack. So you can just individually buy this plug-in pack, for example, this M How To pack, and you get all of this stuff in it that's themed exactly the same. So you've got an arrow that you can use, you've got little text, you know, call outs, you've got some doodles that you can use that's all in that same theme. You've even got like your subscribe button. You've got some backgrounds that you can use that are really cool. So if I wanted to, I could put this background underneath this title and you have a really cool title with the background already built in. And they're so easy to edit. You can just literally come over here and you can change the little details just by using sliders. You can completely customize it. We can change the color, the rate. I mean, and that's completely customized in just a few seconds. You literally can just drag them over. If I need a grid, boom, grid background. And there's so many different styles and different types of packs. Like this one is coaching where you could have like messages coming up on screen. You've got really clean looking titles, quotes, routine lists. There's even one for YouTubers where it's more of like YouTube chapters that you could use. And then you've got all of your cool like like buttons, subscriber buttons. And it's not just titles, it even has effects. So you can literally come over here to effects, motion VFX, and you can just drop in this zoom effect. Boom, it will do that slow zoom for you because it's already preset. Or you can easily put yourself in like a little circle. Boom, you just drop it onto the clip and then you have yourself in a circle. You can literally just come up here and zoom it in and out and you're done. You can even do those cool like screen recording type things. I've already used these in several videos and no joke, they saved me so much time. I've literally been like, where have plugins been my entire life? I will 100% be using plugins from now on. What's cool is Motion VFX has plugins for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro. And it's so easy to just go on their website and you can just select whatever software you want. Like you can click DaVinci Resolve. You can look for all the packs specific to DaVinci Resolve. And a lot of times they'll be running deals to where you can get percentage off depending on how many packs you buy. And you can easily just hover right here and see an example of what some of those, like this one's camera moves that you could do. This one is M Essentials. And you can get an example of the styles of titles and effects that are inside that pack. If you're shooting a documentary, this one has really nice narrative tools and clean titles that kind of look like a movie. M Keynote, there's M Tuber 3, M Tutorial, if you teach a lot of tutorials. Uh, it's showing you how you can do multi-screen. It's demonstrating the different effects that you can get within that pack. There's call-outs, there's mock-ups, there's handwritten elements, there's vintage eight millimeter style, old school looking DVR effects. And you can literally buy that pack and everything that's in it, whether it was like backgrounds, whether it's placeholders for your different camera angles. I'll just show you a few more examples. These are some of my favorite. If you're doing like before and afters, you can easily do these split screen effects and you literally just boom, drag it on. And it can be a before and after effect. They're so easy to use so fast and they actually help you streamline your workflow. This takes a lot of the frustration out of editing, especially for me, because I'm doing longer style videos a lot of the time, and I need a lot of titles, I need a lot of zoom ins, I need a lot of like placeholders and backgrounds, and I need to be able to easily do that. And so having to go over to Artlist, look through the templates, have indecision, download the template, then be limited in my options, have to go download another template, all of that really takes up a lot of time and it adds up. But if you use these plugins for Motion VFX, it's 10 times faster. So again, big thanks to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. I know they're sponsoring this video, but I genuinely love these plugins and plan to continue using them in the future and also to buy more packs because I'm really into it now and I want to buy more of them, of course. But if this is something you're interested in, check the link in the description and try out one of these packs for yourself because I promise it will 10X your workflow. And we all know editing's frustrating. So if anything makes it simpler, 
And this, after seven years, this is one of the, I'm like, where has this been? Why did I not know that there were plugins at the beginning of my editing journey? Anyway, if you found some value in this video, let me know in the comments if you're going to try out one of these plugins or if one of these shortcuts or editing workflow tips really helped you out. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, you might be interested in some of my other DaVinci Resolve videos. I'll link the playlist right here.